What's up guys, Nepenthes here and welcome back to another episode of The Road to Glory. As you can see, we've got a new team, or at least half a new team. You guys wanted hybrids, I brought you hybrids. I give the fans what they want. But in all seriousness, guys, um, somebody said to me, like, Ozzy Cup is the best midfielder they've, they've ever used. And I just looked at his card stats and do you know what? They're absolutely phenomenal. They look amazing. So I went and picked him up. I started building a team around him. I picked up Demirel for 20,000 coins. I went and got Gonul for uh, 23,000 coins. Decent fullback. Not the best stats here, but he's really important for chemistry. We bought Kier for 18,000 coins. We bought Hutchinson for 30k and we bought Ozzy Cook for 45,000 coins. We bought Lucas Podolski for 78,000 coins. Of course, I've got uh, Castro, Hesse, Modric, Ramos and DeMarcos. Uh, I could go for Marcelo, but I've already got, you know, I've got DeMarcos here. I may as well use him off, off chem here. Uh, we've got the manager. I bought the Turkish manager there that you can see for 150 coins. Turkish managers are expensive. Expensive. I bid for him on open bid and managed to pick him up, but they're going for like 800 to 1,000 coins each, which is crazy. I do have a CDM to CM card, which will give Hutchinson the one chem up to seven. I don't know if I have a right wing to right forward card. Let's see if we have it. We do have it. So we have a right wing to right forward card there. That puts Podolski in a, uh, a better slot there. And uh, in terms of fitness, the team's all right for the, for the game that we're going to play. Now, um, I know you guys want to see division gameplay. Whilst I'm in the States, I'm probably not going to. I've explained a few times. I just don't really have the time to do what I want to do within this series while I'm here. And when I play with a brand new team, I hate playing in divisions. I need to feel the team first. I need to get used to it by playing a few games with it. And if I do that in divisions, I'm just going to ruin my divisions record, potentially get relegated, etc., etc. Um, I figured to myself, why not keep uh, Courtois, Nengola, Marquisio? We don't need the coins for anything. And if a tournament does come up where we can use them, We'll just use them. So this is the team here, guys. We've still got Ben Yedder in the squad. I'm still like kind of interested in creating a French squad around him. Uh, I think it'll be uh, a hell of a lot of fun. And I, I tell you guys, this Castro card, man, like for, for a guy that we won for free, 53 goals and 20 assists in 59 games is an absolutely incredible contribution. Now you can't see, but this team is 99 chemistry. Um, it will go up to 100 chem if, I mean, first of all, if I just put a cam to CM card on him, which I don't have, it would go into 100 chem. If we got a Spanish manager with the Turkish league, we'd give one one more chem to uh, De Marcos, which would put it to 100 chem. And after 10 games, um, the three, Podolski, uh, Hutchinson and Ozyukut will all get one chem, which would take it to 100 chem. But 99 chem for me is okay. Now there is a new tournament. Out, um, but I'm, I'm choosing purposely to ignore it. It's called the Four Americas Cup. You need a minimum number of players from Argentina, United States, Chile, and Colombia. You need five. Um, basically, you need five from either United and uh, United States and Argentina, and then five from Chile and Colombia. And what it does is just increase the value of those players to the point where the 10,000 coin tournament bonus, you're probably going to lose out when trying to resell those players after buying them, you know? So 10,000 coins for me, it's a big prize if you've got the players in your club. I don't have the players in the club, I had a look around. Um, we, we basically like, like we, I think we have enough Argentinians, um, nation Argentina, so we can, we, you know, we definitely be able to put five Argentinians in there, whether or not they'd be decent or not, I don't know. Um, but for Chile, we have one Chilean, I think we have one United States of American, maybe, maybe two maybe two from uh, US. Yeah, two, so Johnson and Brooks, and then I can't remember the uh, other nation, but I basically just don't have the players to do it, so uh, we're not going to. What we're gonna do today is go into an online tournament, we're gonna go back into the Champion Shield, just to try and get a feel for this team. If this team feels good, I'll play with it in Division Two, no problem at all, but um, Division Two at this stage in FIFA as well is, you know, relatively easier than it was maybe three months ago, maybe six months ago, because a lot more players have filtered their way up through the divisions. But um, I don't want to risk it. I'm probably going to rebuild like my La Liga team, not with blue cards, just the gold La Liga team. So what I'll probably build at some point when we go on a Division 2 and Division 1 Assault would be the 4-3-2-1 with like uh, Modric, James Rodriguez, uh, Bale, Neymar, Benzema up front, uh, whatever third midfielder that I need that's necessary. Ramos and Pepe, maybe Ramos and Godin. Uh, the two fullbacks being Marcelo and Demarcos, and then just like Alves or uh, Navas and goal. And that is a team for me that is title winning. 
which is crazy because there's so many of the players in this squad right here that are actually probably better than the counterparts I'm going to put in there. I just find them better to play with. It's really weird. One of my favourite teams of FIFA 15 was a full gold uh, Bundesliga team. It was just amazing. It, like it does. Like I had like I think Royce or Bamiyang and Robben up front. Okay, they're, they're quite high rated players in Robben. You've got Pace in Aubameyang. You've got one of the most OP cards in recent FIFAs in Royce. But they just outperformed any kind of team of the seasons, team of the years, legends, etc. that I put into the team. So why would I not continue to play with them, you know? So it looks like we're going to struggle to get a game here, guys. So I'll just cut the video here and I will be right back when we're at the games. Okay, guys, I finally found a game. It took me about 10 minutes and my opponent has got a 183 team. Uh, he's got that team of the season, Costa, Frank Ribery out front. Interesting choice there. Muller, Vidal, Naldo, Dijkmaier, uh, Alves in net. Miranda, not the upgraded version. Uh, Alexandro, Nate Golan, and I believe Inform in, uh, Dries Mertens at left midfield. Might have been Insignia, I can't remember exactly. But uh, we've got quite, quite, a, uh, quite a nice team. This guy's called the Invincibles. He's uh, got the Arsenal kit on. So, um, you know, likely an Arsenal fan. But we have got ex-Arsenal player in Lucas Podolski. It's a foul ref, right? No. Um, it is Dries Mertens there, uh, there up front. Very nice indeed from Gokhan. The, what's his name? Gokhan Gonul. I guess they used the, uh, the other name for him. But um, it's going to be uh, probably a tough game here just because teams like this, I don't know, man. I like, I like, like, just like, oh, what a tackle. Who was that? That's a big tackle. I was going to say, like, when you've only got, like, one or two star men in a team, like, with that, um, that blue Douglas Costa, go on, SA. You're never going to beat Dean Meyer for pace, but, um, you know, that one blue Douglas Costa, the Ribery, the, um, ooh, the, what in yeah, the informed left wing, like, it really, like, I don't know, it just seems to sometimes play better than having stupid amounts of superstars in teams, but we are going to try our best to, uh, to get away and score some goals here. Ruben Castro, lovely ball out there to Hesse. I don't want to rush it too much. I don't want to rush against Dijkmaier because if I'm if I try sprinting him, like outpacing him for for out sprinting him for pace every time, I'm probably going to end up losing. Here is Ruben Castro. That's a great tackle. Is that going to fall to Podolski? Podolski's not awake. Eventually does come to Podolski. Oh, he evades the first tackle. He evades the second tackle. Lucas Podolski misses by a mile. If you're going to call yourself the Invincibles, why not go all out? Get the Arsenal badge as well, you know? Play, play at the Emirates. We might actually be at the Emirates. I don't know what stadium this is. That's a fantastic tackle from Ramos, but Ribery does well. He's got uh, Douglas Costa. I, I guess he just loves spamming the trick stick with Douglas Costa, and I don't mind it too much if he's going to make mistakes like that. Very happy for me indeed. We've got a lovely little bit of room for Podolski over on the right-hand side here. Is he going to keep that in? He's not. Bit of a bad ball. I, I tried to pass it into the into the gap there rather than to the side. But okay, so we've got a bit of a bit of a trickster on the books here. I don't mind if you're trying to do tricks with uh, Thomas Muller because he's only got three stars. I guess that's why he's got the players up front that he's got. The Frank Ribery, the uh, oh wow, EA please. The Frank Ribery, the Douglas Costa, two five star skillers. Uh, he's gone for Mertens at the left wing, four star skiller of course. Could have gone for Marco Royce and, and gone for that full Bundesliga team. Um, I guess uh, he decided against the Aussie Cup losers out there. If, if, he, if he's just going to do ball roll stop and turn or ball roll McGeady spin every time he gets the ball, he's not going to have a fun day because it's so easy to read. Every time he gets the ball and gets into the space, he tries to hit the stop and turn every single time. And uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's going to be a good day for me in defence if that's the case because that's, uh, that's no way. There's no way to... Um, to try and try and win games although if I give the ball up there it doesn't matter what you're going to try and do to win games because you've just got easy easy victory there I'm struggling to get out a little bit I'm waiting for that stop and turn again I'm still waiting for it there it is oh wow EA please that's great tackle from care um, yes it's, it's just gonna it makes it really really easy for me when you just do the same or when you just look for the same thing even if you don't do it oh that's a great tackle from Ramos I'm struggling a little bit here defensively, I'm not going to lie. Not because he's a good attacker, because he's actually like a really uh, a really obvious attacker. Like, I know exactly what he's doing. I just, I, I'm not really doing great when I've got possession of the ball. I keep giving him easy possession. Let's see if he falls for my, uh, oh, he actually uh, 
I, I tried to do the stop and turn there, but for some reason, the stop and turn didn't come off. And, um, let's go then, Ramos, love that. I need to start getting Podolski on the ball a bit more. Bit Really poor control from him, him there, but Podolski for me is, is the key to success. Just, just from that long shot, it's again, just really easy to read this this guy. I might have to make subs quite quite early on, maybe like around the half time mark. Oh god, this this guys is why I don't put it into Division Two straight away because we're we're just in the second round of the cup here, and this team is not performing very nicely for me. I'm defending quite well, um, which is kind of like giving me a margin for error. But in general, it's just not good, is it? Like we're not we're not doing good things here with the ball. Uh, we, we haven't really created, we've created like one dangerous attack so far with uh, with that shot from Podolski from I can't remember how far out. And in general, this guy's defending solidly. He's, he's defending deep, he's attacking well, but um, this is, this is going to cause problems for us for sure. Unless I can get, uh, get my boys on the ball. There's Hutchinson. Is that a shot? Oh, that is a shot. And uh, Hutchinson can't do much with it after the shot. That's great read from Gokhan there. I did. Uh, I did think he was going to look for that inside pass straight away. It's quite, kind of this guy is quite easy to to read. That's a big tackle from Sergio Ramos, and it's fallen to Hesse. Oh, that's dirt from him. And this is a good position from Lucas Podolski. Yellow card for his big centre back. Is that uh, is that big Naldo? It is. Naldo's a monster in this game. We're going to take this free kick with uh, Lucas Podolski. He's just got it. Remember that free kick I scored before? Even with the keeper on that side of the net, it could... I was going to say it could still go in, but that was utterly shocking behaviour. But absolutely sold him with uh, with the skill move, which is funny because he's been hitting me with the skill moves, yet it was him that got uh, burned by the skill move. And here we go with Lucas Podolski, the Arsenal man. Going to try and, uh, try, and, try and make him bite. Oh... If I'd have just turned the analog stick like a half a, half a second earlier, then I would have been in behind the defender there. Not on this occasion. We've got Mertens there. I'm going to bring him down. I, you know, no, no point risking him getting into the box, getting to that near post and cutting it across the back of the net. So I'll bring him down. i let him pass this to Ribery. i let him do a scoop turn or fake shot or whatever he's going to do inside. And um, it's, it's, going to come, it's going to come eventually. There it is. You know, th this guy has like... A, a desire, a desire to just, um, oh come on keeper, I threw that ages ago, he has a desire to do a skill move before he has a shot, it's, uh, it's going to end up costing him the game actually, and we're here at, uh, we're here at the stroke of half time, nice ball out from Podolski into Hutchinson, great work from uh, the big lad, big feet, into Modric here, hit him with a stop and turn, that's not quite where I aimed it, but Ruben Castro and Modric are doing well here, comes back to Ruben Castro, Ruben Castro from range. Oh my God, what a goal from Ruben Castro. This has been a close game so far for sure. I get the space here. It does a lovely little drag back into the space. The fake shot and smashes it. And I'm telling you guys, I said it at the start of the episode. I said it in yesterday's episode. Ruben Castro is phenomenal. I don't know what it is about him. His long shots, his finesse shots. He just does it all. I'm so happy with him in the club. I feel like he's a, he's a really important player. It's, it's so hard for me to say, okay, let's go and spend money on Suarez or let's go and spend money on this player or that player or the other player. Let's go and buy Vardy or let's go and buy Aubameyang. When we've got someone who scores so many important goals for us in the club for free, untradeable, like why, why change that, you know? So my opponent here has only had 42% possession. My passing is better, my possession is better. I've had more shots. But I don't feel like this is a game that I'm comfortably in. I, I actually was surprised with those match stats, not going to lie. Um, we'll bring on Ben Yedda. I'm going to bring off uh, Hesse. We'll save some subs for later on in the game. Maybe like uh, Marquezio or Nangolan in for, by looks of things, Ozzy Kupo Modric because their fitness looks to be pretty low. Could also bring in uh, Sansone or Sane for Castro and or Podolski. But I'd only really do that if the fitness was low and we went to extra time because... There's just no reason. There's no reason to change what we've got going on here. What's interesting as well about this game, one of the reasons why I genuinely might be struggling is I created this as a new team. Oh, that's just luck. Oh my God, what a save. I created this as a new team and I haven't sorted my um, player instructions out yet. So I haven't got my fullback stay back while attacking. I haven't got my two wingers to get in behind. 
um, I'm still exactly the same as I was. Like it's, it's basically default player instructions, which I don't really like playing on. Um, so yeah, there could be could be a few problems there, and that's a great ball out to uh, to Ben Yedder. Obviously, with the five star skill foot, skill foot, five star five star weak foot, and yet he still favoured his strong foot. I wonder if like he has the trait that like he's like favours strong foot or something like that, or avoids using weaker foot, even though he has a five star weak foot, because that would be pretty damn stupid, wouldn't it? Be giving someone a five star weak foot and then saying to them, actually, you're not even going to use this. Um, here we go, Ruben Castro. He's got the space to the finesse. Ooh, Diego Alves with a big save. I really thought that was going to be in as well. I thought that was, uh, thought that was it. I thought it was in the back of the net, but no, good save. Here we go, Castro again. Oh, that's a big tackle. That is a big tackle. Oh, he's got Ramos against Costa. Costa's got the like the the beating of him just. And I knew that was coming, and it made it so easy to defend because this guy again tries to hit me with the same skill move over and over again, and it's just not going to work. I mean, it, it will probably eventually work, but just not really. You know what I mean? Oh, that is beautiful as well. Here's Ruben Castro, the finesse shot of dreams. It's 2-0, guys, and that was a lovely play. From that brilliant tracking back of Sergio Ramos to catch up with Douglas Costa, I read the skill move on the inside. He broke the play up. Gets it there, boom, passes it in, one, two, finesse shot of dreams, and his finesse shots are truly, truly out of this world. He just doesn't seem to miss them. And yet his his like his finishing and, and his curve and stuff, I don't I don't really know what they are, but they're not that of a striker that should be putting away every opportunity like that. You know what I mean? They're that of a striker that should miss some every now and then. And I know like Alves did save the one shot, but in general, Castro here has just been utterly sensational. I don't want to do everything with him though, you know what I mean? Like we've, we've got like other players on the field and I think Modric is offside there, he is. It did go in the back of the net. But <sighs> Modric is offside. Modric. I'm out of breath because I'm talking too fast. I see some people sometimes in the uh, comment section, why is he out of breath just from playing for I'm out of breath just because I talk too fast sometimes and I forget to catch my breath during like in between talking and then from that I end up like being just behind on breathing for, for the rest of the... Uh, for the rest of the video. That is a great tackle and I read that one again. That's a beautiful ball. Castro into a uh, West Ham. Oh, that's lovely. It's gone to the offside guy, hasn't it? Yeah, I tried to throw that into a uh, Ruben Castro. I probably shouldn't have passed it. I had the shooting opportunity on and maybe should have taken the shot. Um, but uh, I, I don't mind. We're, we're, in, we're in a good spot right now. He read that. He was waiting. He was waiting for something that he backed off. As soon as I got into the space, he just backed off me and allowed me to do whatever the hell it was that I was going to do there, which uh, I don't really like too much. I'm hoping I can get Podolski on the score sheet here, but oh, oh, that's unlucky. I, I feel like a third goal might see this guy rage quit. I, I don't know if I'm overly keen on this squad. Like I have made some mistakes here. Like as I said before, I've got the um, I, don't, I don't have like my player instructions on, which is problematic for me. Um, it's a brand new team. I don't really know how a lot of the players work yet. And, and whilst for the most part, most players are like ultimately similar to each other, there are certain players here or there that just do certain things. Like for example, Ruben Castro, his finesse shots are just amazing. So I try finesse shots with him more than I probably would do if it was a different player. And just knowing those little things here and there can be huge for um, winning games that you wouldn't necessarily win if you didn't know it you know so um there is always that now if we can get into some space here i can't get into some space there's ozio cup castro we've got west ham running he's broken through the defense that's good good tracking back i know i, I can read what this guy is going to do way before he even does it He's honestly one. Like he's created some chances, but he's just so easy to read. It's, it's it's kind of like it's funny to see that he tries the same shit over and over, in spite of the fact that it hasn't worked for him at all. I just couldn't get through his midfield there. Oh, it's a bad pass. He's going to get on the bet on the end of that. Still, even even with the the mistake there, he's still going to get on the end of that. See if we can win this ball back. See if I can score a third goal. See if we can get this uh, Castro is his hat trick. Let's go, Ben Yedder. Boom. 
is away, he's in the box. Oh, he's done beautiful work. It falls to Lucas Podolski. This guy's all over the place. Podolski, oh. I tried to pass that into uh, not Podolski there. I think it was Hutchinson running in. That's who I aimed that pass for. It fell to Podolski, so I wasn't really ready for it because uh, I wasn't expecting that to be the pass and it kind of threw me off. If I'd have actually just sat there, I probably would have got the, uh, got the penalty. It's just, what is he doing? Just run and shoot, you idiot. God damn, I, I just don't understand why he's doing what he's doing. That's a great tackle. I'll tell you what, defensively, this team is strong. Um, offensively, maybe a little bit weak. Uh, what, we've got 80, 88th minute here. Let's see if we can go and get ourselves uh, another goal. Oh, we've evaded the one tackle. We've got Lucas Podolski. Is he going to get there? He is. Hutchinson. Oh, that's poor. That's a big tackle for a third goal. If we get it, that could be huge. Ben Yedda into Ruben Castro. That's a, that's, that's a lovely tackle. That is a big tackle from the dude there. And uh, we're going to get the ball back. That's probably going to be full-time right there as well. Yeah, that is full-time, guys. So a 2-0 victory in today's video. Um, pretty big win, man. Like, I know I know the match stats indicate that I dominated. I don't think I did. I think this guy created a lot of problems. He, he put a lot of pressure on me. His skill moves, although readable, um, were decent. And as you can see by the fact that I was resorted to pretty much long shots only... Um, his defence was just compact and solid and, and if it wasn't for my two Ruben Castro uh, finesse shot and long shot I wouldn't have, uh, wouldn't have been in this game but we get ourselves a nice big 2-0 win we'll go and have a look at um, the coin total after and, and the games and stuff so 133,000 coins in the bag uh, 362 wins, 4 draws, 57 losses and that 4 draws is, is with like you know a divisions record that, that sees us in division 2 46-4-3, that's not a bad record it could be a little bit better I know we've got 2 disconnect losses in there as well um, which are just neither here nor there. I think we've got like four or five disconnect losses overall in the whole series. Um, but, you know, I, I think the record is pretty decent. The squad, pretty decent. Um, impressed with Hutchinson. He seems to be a force in the midfield there. I don't know who whoever had him before me. I don't know why they put a Hunter chemistry style on him, but that's a bit whatever. Um, Ozdjukup felt okay. Podolski felt good. A uh, bit weak shot. When he gets up to 8 chem, maybe he'll be a bit more important. But again, Ruben Castro, two more big goals for us. 60, 55 and 20. 75 contributions in 60 games. That's amazing. That's amazing for a guy who was free. And uh, then we look at Hesse as well. Hesse also has insane contributions. What's he got? So 85, 55 and 26. So 81 contributions in 85 games. That's big. For a guy who costs us 1,400 coins, 85 games and 81 contributions in terms of goals and assists from that left forward spot that is huge but anyway guys this is going to be the end of the video if you did enjoy this be sure to leave a like rate and comment and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already but for now guys i'm out peace